Barefoot Racing Adventures. We're here at Alltech Speedway in Lake City, Florida for 12,000 to win super late model race. We've got cameras on Kyle Stricker, Kyle Bronson, Dan Stone, and Turbo Tyler Erd. So if this rain holds off, it's gonna be exciting. Ride with me as we go. See who else is in the pits. We got a lot of interviews coming up. Here we go. Except for it's opposite, opposite steering, huh? So what's, what's the story behind the bike, man? A uh, guy in Mississippi had one and I rode it like probably the fifth try. And he was mad because I hustled him for my, I didn't, I never rode one. And then I just got him to build me one because I wanted one too, because it was awesome. But it's just so backwards bike. You turn left, you turn right, turn right, turn left. Is it, is it helpful in your, in any way? It has nothing to, to do with racing. Yeah. It's pure... Just pretty spectacular moves yeah. out on the track, man. Yeah. It's fun to watch. Yeah, I don't know. It's just comfortable. When you're comfortable, you feel really good, you know, racing and driving and doing whatever. So I guess that was half of it. Hey, when you're comfortable, you're confident. Man. That's right. It's the backwards bike. Let's see if Kyle can do it. Oh, yeah. He's onto it already. He's, he is. Oh, shit! Oh. oh, he's got it. Oh. <laughs> the backwards bike. Sweet. I'm here with Brandon Shepard. How you doing today, man? Oh, not too bad, not too bad. Good. Good. Hoping the weather holds off and we get to race Absolutely, yeah, the weather's looking good. Yeah! Woo! Oh! Are you next? Strickler's gonna give it a try. <laughs> if there's one guy that I see is always checking out the track, constantly monitoring the track conditions, it's Kyle Bronson. And there he was just talking about how he's slippery at this track. Oh, there's a good indicator right there. If it's a little too dry, it gets rubbered up quick. So this is a real tricky surface. We've already spoken with some guys that have said the same thing. So I believe in you. I know you will be. I sure hope so. Like I said, we got some pretty good momentum. Our cars have been really fast. You know, we built three brand new Rocket XR1 cars this year. So be interesting to see how this all plays out. I'm here with downtown Michael Brown. Good to see you again, man. Good to see you, man. Brother, last time I saw you, you smoked the competition at Livonia. Yeah, it was a, that was a uh, that was a really good day, man. We got Michael Brown in the lead. Chris Matt, here we go. today and uh, have us a little bit of fun absolutely that's probably not the first time you've driven with one hand is that something you often do yeah when the track is it's kind of slowed down like that and you know you got you, your car is postured up a whole lot more to steer so you're over on the right front a lot more and it's kind of like a you know a habit just to, like you're holding on almost just because it, it feels like you're dumped over so much almost like you're trying to fall out of the seat so you let me ride with you and you went out there and won the race and did it one-handed that was pretty spectacular man yeah it was awesome man yeah, that, was really if cool. i could just do that again here that would be really awesome more competition here today than you did there at Lavon. oh absolutely this is uh i mean this is this is the best of the best it, what I dreamed of doing since I was a kid, so I'm fortunate to be here and hopefully, uh, hopefully make the race and put out a good showing. Excellent. Well, I'll tell you what, brother, I really appreciate you, and we'll be watching you. Thank you, man. I Thank appreciate you so much. You have a good one. Yep. All Tech Speedway, yeah, right? Yep, Lake City, Florida. Yep. How do you like this track, man? Um, you know, I've only been here once. I watched this guy tear it up at my home track in Virgil, New York, over 20 years ago. And this guy would run the top and just smoke the competition week after week. 
So how long has it been that you've been running with the very best in the world? We started dabbling, traveling to some bigger races in either 97 or 98. The first time we ever came to Florida for Speed Weeks was 2001. And we've only mixed, missed a couple Speed Weeks in there. So, I mean, how, how hard is it to get these things dialed in each track? Uh, you know, that's what we struggle with the most anymore. Running with these guys, it's critical. You know, a little piece of rubber here and there or a little shim. It's huge. I mean, you could be out for lunch. Well, I look forward to riding with you today, man. And honestly, I feel like, I don't know if this is wrong to say, but I feel like it would be a win if you could get in the show today with 50 competitors here. Exactly. I mean, that's that's what we're going to focus on first. I'm here with Stuart Friesen. Good to see you. Today's your first day in a late model, man. That's that's exciting. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, definitely a lot to learn, but you know, I'm just going to try to have some fun with it. It was uh, it was cool to run some hot laps last night. And, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Is this your first time at this track? No, we actually ran uh, our Modifieds here this time last year, so we got some laps around the track. And it's, it's a little different down here. It's a little slimy and stuff. And I see you guys practiced at Cherokee. How did that feel to you? That that helped. You know, we worked a couple bugs out with the car, and I just kind of got acclimated. And uh, you know, still a lot to learn, obviously. Uh, but just gonna have fun with it and uh, see how we do. How do you like the feel of this late model as compared to your Northeast Modified? It's pretty cool. You know, obviously there's a lot of body roll and stuff, but uh, it seems like you can get pretty aggressive with the car and drive it hard. And that's what I'm gonna try to do. Absolutely, brother. Well, thank you so much for your time. We'll be watching you and good luck out there. All right, thank you. Yes, sir. I just looked at the radar. It looks like we might get lucky with no more rain with Tim McCready. Somebody I've been watching for more than 20 years, man. I I've seen you race up at Fulton, at Northeast Modified. And you've always just been an outstanding driver. You feel confident today? You... I don't know. This place is tough. It's uh, it's just different. It's different than a lot of places. It's got slime in it. Uh -huh. uh, then it's rubber or tacky. So I, I don't know. I don't don't know. I mean, it's hard to judge. We'll know more, I guess, as the night goes on. Yeah, for sure. You were able to get some laps in yesterday, though? Yes. Oh, yeah. good, good. Uh, we'd like to run a little faster than we were, but at the end of the day. Well, hopefully the weather holds off for us today and everything goes good for you, man. I'll be rooting for you. All right, man, thank, thank you. you so much. Yes. But the track's in tough shape right now, so we'll have to see what happens here. I'm here with Kyle Lars. got a rain out today. It's a bummer, but um, weather looks good, I think, for tomorrow, so we'll have some fun tomorrow. Absolutely. How do you like this track? Have you ever been here before? Uh, no, I've never been here before uh, last night, so it's yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, just still trying to figure out the late model stuff, and uh, yeah, just learn as much as I can. Just trying to this will only be like your what third time in a, in a late model or so? Uh, fourth event, yeah. Fourth event. Well, congratulations. How do you like driving these cars as compared to everything else that you drive? Yeah, they're fun. It's it's extremely challenging. So. Uh, like I said, I'm still just trying to learn as much as I can every time I go out. Sure. I try to get more comfortable. Awesome. All right, man. Well, thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, thanks. Cheers. Yeah.